When thinking about my son, Jerron, that passed in a motorcycle accident, the first thing I thought about when I walked back there in that room and saw my son lying on that emergency room bed dead, the first thing I said, I said, regardless, my son is dead, but I'm still gonna honor God. I still put my trust in the Lord because this had to be in an intentional incident for it to happen to me and my husband, for us to have lost our son in a tragic motorcycle accident, but I still wasn't gonna give up on God because I remember the word that was preached from our bishop beginning of the year when he gave us that word, those who honor him, he will honor them. And I always stick close to that because I believe if I honor God, he will honor me. And that's the only thing I could think about laying, when I was looking at my son laying there dead on that, on that bed. And you know, my heart was broken, but I wasn't gonna give in to despair. You know, sometimes I feel lonely and I miss him, but at the end, I still honor God. And the result of all of this, the Lord has shown us and honored us by letting us know that he our God and he gave us peace with our son that let us know that everything's going to be all right I just know that God is a good God and through all of this I know we're going to get through it with our family God has shown us that he gave us love with our church members they showed us support and one of my co-workers called me yesterday, his father had passed, and they was on their way back from the funeral. And he, he told me, he said, people had asked me, say, how did you go through it? And he said, a friend of mine, they had just lost their son, and the way the Lord took them through it, I know if he can do it for them, he can do it for me. And that let me know that God is still there. Intentional. Intentional.